Hi guys, welcome everyone. Sorry, I couldn't get on like anyhow on any channel because my phone was low. Oh, goodness. So thank you guys for if anyone shows up. <laughs> um I had a hard time getting on either channel. I don't know why. But it happens, so that's why I like to do it on my phone because um, I can do that on my other channel because I have a thousand or this channel. But hi, Jennifer. Hi, Manji. Hi, Michelle. Um, but on my laptop, I think it's bogged down and I don't have it uh, connected straight to the router. But I found like it doesn't make a huge difference. So annoying. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> oh, I have an itch. <laughs> Longer, thicker chain. Okay, well, wait a minute. The last chain was a thicker chain, um, and that was a sixteen inch. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so this one's on an 18 inch and it's not as thick, but I kind of like it better. It's also a box chain. It just looks better on this chain, to be honest, than the other one. Now that I look at it, so that's the back end. This is the front end. Wait, front end. And that's an 18. I'm back. Oh, I had such a hard time getting back. That's a, oh, it's so annoying. Oh. <laughs> oh, sure. So the difference from the original 16 inch to the, this one, um, the other one was very thick, obviously. You'll see the difference, but I really liked, I really like, so I'm going to put them side by side. Where am I? So here's the big one on the bottom, and then here's the thinner one, which I like better on top. Now, the 16 and 18, I'm going to say the same price. If you want longer, it's going to be more money. <laughs> we need more money for a longer chain. <laughs> um, I, you know, I had coffee. That's part of my problem. <laughs> I did have coffee, so I'm a little like... <laughs> and it's hitting me now. I, I actually would like to have more coffee. <laughs> you want thicker? <laughs> I swear, caffeine, like, really affects me. <laughs> like the 16. <laughs> Daisy. Uh, let me see. I don't know if I do. It will be more money, more money, more money. Uh, let's see if I even have it. <laughs> I don't actually even know if I do. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Where did I put the other chain? La la la. Let's put that over here. Um, hmm. Ooh. That's pretty. Um, let's see. I don't think. Oh, wait. Is it here? No, that's not it. What's here? Oh, here we go. Nope. I don't have one at this time, Michelle. So, no, I'm sorry. I don't have one. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the caffeine. I'm really not this funny. <laughs> um... So I have the 16 or the 18 inch. The 16 is very thick, as you saw. Very thick. 
And then I have the 18, which, or that was 16. Yeah, and this is, let me double check and make sure this is 18. Yeah, 18. So 16 and 18. Yeah, 16 on the thick one and 18 on the thinner one, but I kind of like it on the thinner one. It just looked better, but either way, you're getting a good deal. Um, and I guess you could change the chain later down the line. So for now, this is what I have, and it will be the price I said, which I think I said 25. Um, and I'll put some stones in it. Ooh, by the way, I've been meaning to ask Daisy, did you like the stones that I put in your, um, your purse? Uh, the Mexican silver filigree necklace. I thought it was, oh, I loved it. I loved it. I have the fish version, but it's a little bigger. I don't know if I'll ever sell it, to be honest. Okay, well, we'll move on. I love the stones and the purse. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Yay. <laughs> Becky, <laughs> you're funny, too. You're, you're very witty. It, you know, that is true. Actually, everything does look bigger. So let's put it on the mannequin, and then we'll move on after that. You could decide. Or whomever would be interested. I'll put it that way. Uh, let's see. We'll put neck to neck. Literally. How's that? Okay. Uh, okay, so you want it. Which, which, which necklace did you like more? The thicker one or the thinner one? So something to think about. And what stones would you like? Gift Lord. Oh, no problem. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you so much. You've always been so sweet. So incredibly sweet. 18. Okay, so I have it on the 18. Now think of the stones. Would you like aventurine? Jasper? Black Jasper, Green Jasper, Venturine Amethyst. I have Halite too. I agree with that too, actually. I do agree with that. Yeah, the thinner, the more feminine. So thank you so much. And you think about the stone. Let me know. You don't have to tell me right now. Think about it. Let me just write it down. <clears throat> I kind of had to <laughs> get my laptop out and everything had to go by the wayside. So now I can't find my pen. Oh my goodness. Every I made a mess, didn't I? Okay. Oh, here it is. Thank you so much, Michelle. So I'm just going to call it filigree prayer box with 18 inch box chain okay thank you so much <laughs> you're funny you're kind of rough with boys let's see some fashionary stuff please okay fashionary okay so you weren't here for it, Miss Becky. I'll show this real quick. Um, this is a memory wire um, bracelet. It has bronze, glass beads, and pale pink, stainless steel. And it's a memory wrap um, bracelet. I'll take it out of here so you guys can see it. Um, this one's going to be $3 if anyone's interested. 
So let me take it out of the packaging. I like memory um, wrap. I don't know. They just fit me really well, and they look very feminine. But this is this one here. And this one is $3. And they're little glass beads. Um, they're all faceted glass beads. Fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> uh, let's see. Thank you, Lori. I love the thought of a prayer box. I know. I will send one with you. I won't write it and put it in there, but I'll... I'll think of it and like mentally put it in there. So this one is three. It's a pretty little bracelet. Fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so that one's three. I mean, I guess it doesn't need to be in this plastic. Okay. Next one, I put this in plastic too. I'll just show it to you guys in plastic. Isn't that pretty? It's like aqua. And I gotta think of a special prayer though. Oh, I know, I already know it. I can't tell you though. Because it's, I find, well, I think prayers are private, but if I'm gonna do one for a spe specific person. I like to be private about it. So this one has a toggle. And it's got the bugle beads. And these are glass beads in aqua. Isn't that pretty? And it goes to like, it's almost Native American looking because it has a double strand. And then I don't know what these beads are called. I don't remember. Um, and then it goes to single and then double again on the side. I'm going to say um, $3 on this one also. Oh, you want to write on it? Okay. <laughs> this one's three. I'm going to put it on because I love silver and aqua together. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, so this one fits even like a larger wrist like mine. See how it goes double? And then it goes to single. So this one's three. Thank you guys for rejoining me. Uh, that Oh, that other one, the memory um, one. Let me try it on. I can't remember. No? Mm -mm. It's nice up here. And actually, it felt nice. It feels nice down here, too. So I like it at both spots. I really kind of like it up here better, though, with this one, because it has little dingle dangles. Kind of like a, you know what I mean? Like a little tennis bracelet, almost. So not tight. No. So each of these are three... <laughs> Um, one's aqua. Now, these beads look like liquid silver, but they're not. Oops. Um, they're just bugle beads in clear. So not to be mistaken, this is three. And this one's three with little dingle dangles. Each are three. Okay. Welcome back, Miss Martha. Thank you. Okay. This one, I did put this on a card. I'm just going to show it again real quick, and I'm just going to do it as a very cheap, inexpensive buy. It's brand new. <laughs> the wrap one, please. Okay, thank you, Becky. Let's see. And I still have your package, too. So, oh, that'll be good. So thank you. I'm going to put it right oh, up there. Don't fall. So Becky, 
I'm just going to call it wrap bracelet. Just three. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> dingle dingles. We'll show this one again. So it's just so cute, like for like a teenager or when you're wearing really simple clothing, like a just a white t-shirt, you know, and um, you want like a simple little cute little thingy. And it says dream. It's done in stainless steel. This part stainless. And then this is silver tone. Um, I have it on the card. I'll take it out for you guys want me to measure it. But I think, I think this one was 18 inch. I'm pretty certain. And this one's going to be $2 if anyone's interested. It's brand new. Dream. Dream big. Two on that one. And this is the chain. So this actually would be a cute idea for, it'll be in a plastic sleeve like I always show you guys. For Easter maybe, that would be really cute. Um, for maybe your daughter, teenager, little, you know, tween. So that one's two. Okay, let's go back to silver. Um, and then we'll come back to some fashion again. Or I'll show some fa Wait a minute, I wanted to show both of these necklaces at once. Let's try that again. Let's see, Becky, you, you and Callie, right? Yes, okay, let's try that again. Try what again? Hi, Pat. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to sell these two necklaces together. Seven-ish hours for me, Michelle. Okay. Um, and where'd it go? I kind of thought they went together really well. Oh, where did I do with it? Okay, well, I guess I'll just sell it by itself. Yeah. Oh, let me show that. Hmm. I swore it was in here. Okay. Well, apparently not. Okay. This one is lamp. A little uh, glass lamp work fish. Oh, I did. No, I take that back. It's not lamp work. Okay, this is really cool. <laughs> so it has those beads that are those clay ones like Chris Goose was selling, um, you know, where they, they make a roll of it and then they cut them. I don't remember the name of them, but they're sunflowers, those beads on here. And then I'll show you guys the fish. I thought it was lamp work. It's not. Okay, here are the beads before you see the fish. See how they're sunflowers? Aren't they cool? I'll try to turn it. And this one. Okay, so there's those. And then look at the little fish. Now, wait a minute. It's actually polymer, polymer clay. Okay, thank you. I think you're right, Martha. Look at the fish. Hold on. It has liquid inside, and I'm going to shake it, and you can see the blue. Oh, you can't see it. Watch. Can you see the blue glitter? Oh, I didn't do it fast enough. Hold on. Well, it's hard to show my camera, but that blue glitter at the bottom, you can shake it. Isn't that cute? Oh, shoot. You can't see it. Let me do it upside down. See how you can see it move? The blue's at the bottom. I guess you get it. Okay, there you go. So I guess you can undo it right here somehow. I don't want to undo it, but yeah, I guess you can. Isn't that adorable? 
and it has a nice long chain. So this can go to, it's a slip knot. So it can go to, it's a wax cord. Let's see, is that as much as it can go to? Okay, I guess this is fully extended. So this one is, oh wow, that's nice, okay. It's uh, 20, 23 inches in length. You can see the blue, okay, good. Isn't that cute? What a cute little idea. Anyways, so it's a long cord. <laughs> Look how cute he is. <laughs> um, I'm going to say $5 for this one because he's so different. But I like that the beads are that clay polymer stuff. And then this little, little fat fish belly. Okay, thank you, Diane. Isn't that, a ju I just didn't know until right now that he was like a little hourglass, not an hourglass, like a little um, snow globe. So cute. Thank you. Okay, Diane. Uh, I'm just going to call snow globe fish clay bead necklace. Thank you so much. <laughs> that is really cute. I like when I don't know everything about a piece sometimes. Okay, guys, I want to go back to one piece that I showed earlier. I already had one there. I was waiting for... <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so funny. I'm glad you got it. So I showed you guys this necklace and I double checked it. Uh, let me double check the size because I wanted to double check. It's sterling silver and it is a 20, 20 inch necklace. This is a little, I guess it, it's a little person uh, pendant. I thought it was, um, what's it called? Uh, emerald and possibly white topaz, but it's actually white topaz and emerald CZs. And then it's um, sterling silver chain and bale and pendant. This one. So it moves. It's all articulated. And so they're CZs. So I'm going to ask 10 for this one if anyone's interested. But they are emerald and white topaz CZs. And it's like a little, I guess it is like a little girl because the triangle can mean like a little dress, I suppose. But it's all sterling. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. So it must be like a little girl. So 10 on this one. If anyone's interested, look at where, where's, where's my finger? <laughs> Isn't that cute? I think it's cute. So I wanted to clarify that one for sure. Cause I did say something different earlier on my life on the first life. Okay. Next one, uh, do you guys want to see some sterling rings? And then I'll go into it back to some fashion. Okay, I love dress. So sweet. I know it is, huh? Uh, let's see. Let me show this one really quick too. This is a sterling necklace, eighteen inch. Um, now these are white topaz, and 
I don't remember what the back said, so let me look. Oh, sorry. This one is a Susie, but it's, I can't see what it says. Okay, these are white CZs, and on a box chain, uh, 18 inch. These are really pretty CZs. It fooled me for a second. Yeah, this is pretty. It's all sterling. Isn't that pretty? It's a box chain, 18 inch, and... You can't see it, so let me take it out of, off of the mannequin. But you can see the shine of the CZs. And then, uh, oh, my dad called. Oh, hold on. He just texts me. Let me make sure he's okay. Oh, let's see. What did you say, Dad? Okay. I'll have to call him back later. This one here. So these are CZs on an 18 inch box chain. Um, I'm gonna say $15 on this one. And that's, even just for the chain alone is a great price, but you're getting a silver pendant with CZs for 15 and it's an 18 inch. Awesome price. And it's a trilogy of CZs. It is marked 925. Um, it's about the same thickness as the one that you got. That's why I didn't show you because it's the same thickness. And this is 15. Okay, thank you, Daisy. Thank you so much. It's really pretty, actually, very feminine. I think you're right, Becky and Francis. The smaller that the chain is, the more feminine it is. I agree there. Sometimes I like a thicker chain for when I have a longer pendant, you know, but um, yeah. Okay. So 18 inch 925 chain with three CZs necklace. Got it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Lydia. How are you? Um, okay. I'll show some more pendants and chains in a second, but let me show some more earrings and rings. Oh, let me show this one again. This is Closin' A. Um, these are like white and multicolor, kind of like a honeycomb. I'm gonna say four on these if anyone's interested. Oh, okay, great idea. I know, I love charms again. They were so big in the 80s. I'm really into charms again. These are Closin' A, $4. They're white. Thank you, Lydia. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> I actually do like Closin' A very much. Um, I've had a few pieces... I'm the ones the ones that I've had from the past. I'm keeping because I think they're so classic. Lydia, oh girl, are you okay, baby girl? She, she keeps drinking water so fast. Okay, close and nay. 
earrings. Thank you so much. Ooh. Thank you, thank you. Heavier pendant, the thicker it's nice. Yeah, yep, I agree. Yep. My sentiments exactly. Okay, let me show these little earrings here. These are um, vintage. And um, actually, these are probably more close to antique. They are Coro from Mexico. And let me just shine them up a little bit. There we go. Where'd the other one go? Uh-oh, what did I do? <laughs> okay, well, it's here on this table somewhere. But they're Coro. Um, they're rose, roses in a, like a frame. They are screw backs. They are marked coral, Mexico. Aren't these pretty? Hold on, let me shine it for, take the tarnish off as best as I can. So they're in in um, etched or embossed, I'm sorry, beautiful roses. Oh, oh Coro, sorry, Coro from Mexico. Um, earrings, sorry. Yeah, it sounds like coral, huh? <laughs> Coro, C O R O. <laughs> and they are screwbacks. And they are marked. They're marked down here, Oop, right here. And on, okay, they're marked Coro on, right here, right, right on the round part where my fingernail is in cursive. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so they're these earrings. These are little very classic coral beautiful um i'm gonna say ten dollars for these if anyone's interested ten on the coral they are sterling silver and they are beautiful let me i'll put them on my finger so you can kind of Oh, okay. So I see Francis came in first. Aren't they pretty? Thank you so much. Thank you. Coral, Mexico. 925 earrings. I just got to find the other one on my table. I When I had to come back on this, on my laptop, I had to like shove everything aside. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. Well, it's here. Oh, here it is. Okay. Let me put it in a baggie. Lydia, okay, so Francis is offering the coral earrings to you. Would you like them, Lydia? Yeah? Okay, I think you're saying thank you, yes. Okay, thank you. All right, so Lydia, you've got the earrings. Thank you so much. Let me put them up here. Oh. Uh, Lydia. So we'll just say Lydia on those instead. Thank you. That was very nice, Francis. Um, well, I'm going to show these again. Um, these are also coral. I said, um, I honestly, I said these were 25 earlier. Um, I believe I did. I'm gonna, these are also coral. I'm going to say 20. And they're poppies. And they say coral on this part here. Sterling, Mexico, down here. 
Okay, thank you, Francis. Thank you. <gasps> did I drop it? Oh, here it is. I did. I don't know why I'm such butterfingers. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. My hair kind of gets in my face when I bend down. It's so annoying. Thank you. Oh, I said 20. <laughs> so are you okay with 20, uh, Francis? How about we do 18 then? Let's, let's do 18. <laughs> what a deal, huh? Okay, so we'll put Francis. We'll do 18. Coro, Mexico, 925 Poppy earrings. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, well, thank you. Either way, um, let me show you some rings. Let's see that one goes over there. Oh, I have some, okay, here's some little dainty earrings that you guys <laughs> might like. Oh, <laughs> I'm out of my regular water. Okay, hold on. I need some carbonated water. I need Brian's coming down. <laughs> Shh. So these are pretty little earrings. Sterling. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just kind of cleaning them real quick. These are black onyx and sterling earrings. There we go. That's better. I'm going to put them on a card because uh, there's, some, yeah, let's put them on this card so you can better see them. Here we go. <laughs> oh, he's running all right. He thinks he's mean. He thinks he's so tough. And then when Brian comes down here, he'll bark at him and, you know, bark and run at him. And then he comes over to my, uh, my lap for, for me to pick up pick him up. So like he comes to my feet, you know, <laughs> and he wants to be picked up because he gets kind of scared. <laughs> he's acting like a big boy and then he comes over and he's all scared. Mommy, pick me up. I'm scared now. Now that I barked and he's going to hurt me. Okay. These are really cute. These are just classic, um, inlaid black onyx ones. Um, but th the nice thing about these, is this is like a nice um, thicker silver and everything's silver on here. So that's kind of nice too, the hooks and everything. Lori, please wait for email or message from me before you package up my items. Okay. Um, sure thing. I will do that. <laughs> yeah. He wants me to protect him. <laughs> so these are just some simple little sterling earrings. They are marked. Um, so they have the inlaid, uh, onyx and it's all sterling and they are marked nine, two, five. Um, I'm going to say $10 on these if you guys are interested. And they are onyx and sterling. They're kind of like a nice, just an everyday earring, I think. Okay, thank you, Pat. You know, just simple and classic. Thank you. Um, Pat. Ooh. 
chat. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to call it 925 Onyx Earrings. Thank you. I do too. Like those are great, like simple everyday, put them on with a t-shirt or tank top or something. Thank you so much. Okay. <clears throat> um, where did... Gosh, I really made a mess. Okay. Um, let's go into real quick some fashion jewelry, and then we'll go back to some silver. These are cute. I think these are... Avon, but I'm not certain. They're little um, heart earrings. They're not hoops. They they go on, you know, like you look at them like a heart. I'm pretty certain that they are Avon. And look at how they have like, they're like a etched in there. You know, the metal. I'm going to ask two for these. I know... I said a different amount earlier, but I'm going to say two on these. Um, a little simple two. Oh, I heard fashion. Yes. These are going to be two, and I believe they are Avon. And that's why I'm going to ask two. Thank you, Becky. Uh, let me write that down. Becky um, Hart Avon. Post earrings. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see, Becky. Okay. Now these are hearts. Also, I don't know. Who, I didn't, I want to say that they're either Monet or Napier, but I'm not certain on it. Oh, well, hold on. I'm. I think they're. I think they're Monet. I can't be certain though. They're not marked. Let's just so let's just say they're not, but they look like it. They absolutely look like the Monets. They're a matte gold. And these are going to be $3 if anyone's interested. They're a matte gold. And then the edges are shiny gold to kind of accent it. It's kind of hard to see on this card, huh? Let me put them on this one. I think you'll be able to see it better on this one. On a white. <clears throat> but I believe they are Monet. Oh, yeah, you can see it better on these. Okay. Yep, better. So they're matte gold and then shiny silver. I mean, shiny gold on the edges, excuse me. Isn't that pretty? Three on those. Okay. All right. I showed you guys that earlier. I showed you guys this earlier. This one's four, this cuff bracelet. It's um, forged gold tone. Like a hammered look when I say forged, that's what I mean. Um, but I want to find my, I can't find my, I actually do like this one. And that one's four. This one's five because these are stainless steel and they're shiny light gold. But they're solid and they're the wavy. 
and they're stainless. So you can see the two different golds. This is like a more like a uh, yellow, gold, like golden gold matte, and this is more of a light shiny gold. These are stainless for the three, it's five, and then this one's four for the cuff. Um, okay, let's um, let's do a little. I'll go back to this the fashion jewelry in a second. I can't reach where I want to go. Um. Yeah, I'll get that in a second. Okay, let's go back to some silver. I have this pretty little necklace. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. I love this charm. It's two roses and some leaves, and they're like diamond cut. And it says sterling, but it says something on the bottom. And I should have looked at it during the day. Uh, it says R L T or X R no something L X S L X. Like I don't know if that's the initials of the maker. The chain is a really pretty feminine chain. It's a twenty inch. What time is it? Twenty inch. What time is it? Okay. And very pretty. It's like a matte um, sterling with the two roses and then the diamond cut of, on the leaves The and on the rosebud are shiny because it's like diamond cut. Twenty inch, which is nice. It is Hallmarked and Mark Sterling. This one is going to be 15 if anyone's interested. I don't know if you could see the diamond cuts in it, but it gives like a little shine. Hold on, let me put it in this hand, maybe better. And it's nice that it's a 20 inch. I can't, okay, you can kind of see the diamond cuts, see the shiny part. There are two roses and then the leaves, and it's a 20 inch. Kind of looks like Black Hill Silver, it doesn't it? Um, does that what that means? The, um, the X or the... What did I say the initials were? They are something, I just can't read it. Oh, it says Sterling and then something after Sterling and then the initials underneath. I really can't read that this time of day. Well, if it is, it is your guys' um, – my mom used to have Black Hills Gold. I loved it. Your guys' uh, find for the night. So this one's going to be 15, and I'll show you the back what I mean because I just can't see it with my eyes at night. Even with a magnifying glass, I can't read it. Um, so it says Sterling and then something after Sterling – and then down below, it says something, <laughs> I think it says LX, I think. It looks like it. Yes, I have some. Sometimes I put the one with scroll on the back. Okay. Want. Okay. Thank you, Daisy. Oh, sorry, Francis. Okay. Thank you. It is really pretty. I think it might be. So that's a goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm just going to call it two rose pendant necklace in sterling. Thank you so much. Let me put it in a baggie. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, let me take these off. Okay. Okay. Then I have this little guy. Wait, let me show this one first. Yes. Okay, this one is a charm too, but it's a, um, a little, um, it looks like an angel, but I'm going to call it a cherub because it looks more like a cherub to me. Um, it does have some diamond cutting on it as well. And let's see what it says on the back. I think it just says 925, but let me double check. Yeah, I think it just says 925. And the chain is a roll chain in 925. It is uh, 18 inch. Hold on, let me shine it up real quick. Okay, and the chain says, I think this one is Italy. Uh, let's see, Italy. Italy. So this one's Italy. Thank you. Um, oh, and I forgot the size already. Okay, 18 inch. I don't know why I forget so easily. And it's a roll chain from Italy. Um, and it has, oops, backwards, has a little cherub angel on it. And I think it's, is it playing an instrument? No. No, it's not. But it does have diamond cut in it. Um, this one's going to be 22 if anyone's interested. I don't know if you can see the diamond cut. I'll get a little closer. The charm itself is three quarters of an inch in length. I like roll chain too, actually. I, there's some chains I don't like, but there are some chains that I really love. I like box chain and roll chain. See the? I don't know if you can see the diamond cut on the wings. I stop moving it, maybe. It's on a roll chain. And it's stamped in the back. And that one's going to be 22, but I love the chain. And it's from Italy. It's so smooth, like when you feel it. Yeah, I like that. Um, it says Italy on here, you know, on the flat part. Yeah, on both sides. So that one's 22. Roll chain, just for the chain alone would be good. And then you get a little cherub, which is a nice size. Okay. <clears throat> this next one, 
was really pretty. <laughs> I don't know what they call this chain, but I do like it also. Um, oh, my lips get so dry when I talk. Hold on. Uh, this one, I don't know. I just bought it. But it's like not as liquidy as my other ones because I get these from the dollar store and they're cruelty free. LA Colors. Um, and this one's called Just Kissed, I believe is the color. They're just really neutral, but this one's not very liquidy. So I don't know why, but anyways, I like the color. Okay, this one has an extender, but I'm gonna measure it without the extender. And it is an, uh, 16 inch, sorry. Um, thank you, I know. They are just so, they stay on, but I've been drinking a lot of liquid. Um, this one I think is also from Italy. Yep, uh, wait. yep, Italy. And it has a an extender of an inch and three quarters. So it's it could be what did I say? 16, 17, or eight, almost 18 inch, close to 18 inch. Now this one I love. You guys might like this. This is like a rose gold overlay diamond cut now this one could be black hills gold because it has that look to it but i don't know to be honest i just don't know i don't know where to look for it on this one because it's a ball and then it has a silver two silver balls on each side i'll just show you but i love this chain Did my dad ever? Okay. So it's 16, but it can go to almost an 18 because it has the extender. And this, oh, I think it's so cool. It has two silver balls, diamond cut rose gold right here. I don't know what this chain is called, to be honest. I just, I don't, I'm not really familiar with names of the chains, but look at how pretty. Isn't that pretty? This one, it may be Black Hills. I just don't know. Um, but I love it. Look at the chain. Real quick, I don't know what it's called either. This type of chain. It's not a box chain. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, and it has the diamond cuts on the little ball. I don't know if you could see the color. It looks like my ring. My ring is a copper. So this is a rose gold. I'm going to say 25 for this one if anyone's interested. Can you see it? So there's two silver balls and then the rose gold one. And it's diamond cut. Isn't that pretty? But at least it's rose gold on top of the ball. Oh, that's a great price for the chain. Thank you. Or, yeah, great pick of the chain. Is it Silpata? Oh, I don't know. You know, it kind of looks like it now that I'm looking at it. Because look at the chain. See this right here? Look at the extender, how it is. Kind of looks like it, huh? Maybe it's not Black Hills. Maybe it's Silpata. Let me look at the great question. Says Italy. 
And let's see here. Italy. I don't know if it would be on the charm, maybe. What does it say here? 95. And. This is such a great magnifying glass. Um, I don't know, to be honest. I really just don't know. But it's beautiful. It's an expensive brand. Arrow on the tag, if it's Silpata or somewhere. Okay, I did see a little... No, this is 925. There's no separate tag, like an arrow on it. But could be, you're kind of right on that. It has that look to it. So it could be Silpata, or it could be Black Hills Gold, or it could just be a very nice, you know, Sterling necklace. Yeah, Silpata is at a, it's a very expensive <laughs> silver designer brand. Um, yeah, I love it. I do love it. Okay, we're going to pass on this one. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, guys. Can you guys hear me? I don't think so. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can you hear me now? <laughs> uh, inside the ring. Okay. Let me look. Thank you, guys. Uh, let me look. Where did I put it? <clears throat> Sorry. Brian had to talk to me really quick. Thank you. Uh, personally. <laughs> okay. Boy, that's going to be hard. It's hard to see inside it. It's too hard to see on the inside. I mean, I'm trying to see with the light. Gosh, that is just too hard. I don't know. 
I'll look at it during the daylight, but if no one wants it for now, then I'll look into it further. Maybe it will be Sopata. Okay, thank you guys. <laughs> All right, so we're going to pass on this one, which is uh, rose gold and then the silver. Okay. Um, I have this... Um, I don't want to bang this watch up. I'm going to take it off. Uh, let's go to some, let's see here. What do I want to show? Let's show a ring. <clears throat> want to show this ring? Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, we'll do this one. Hi, uh, Princess, you know your stuff. I learned a lot from you. Do a loop. I don't have a loop. I don't I do actually I do have a loop, but it doesn't work correctly. Um so the next best thing is this, because my eyes are bad. <laughs> um I did get a brand new loop for my birthday, but it doesn't work correctly. It for some reason it's like reversed or something, and even my dad's like, there's something wrong with the loop. But I, he did get me one, and he got me something else uh, jewelry-related for my birthday. Oh, he got me this, too. So wait a minute. He got me the loop just randomly, and it wasn't working. So then he got me this for my birthday, along with some other goodies. <laughs> I kind of like this one because um, of the lights on it. Um, okay, this one is marked 925, and it is a 7 and 3 quarters. And, um, I'm not really sure what, this is not, I would say it's not sterling, but I'm not really sure what the stone is, to be honest. I really don't know. I'm kind of stumped, but it's really a pretty design and it is marked 925, right? Where? Oh, right underneath. 925, and then it says uh, initials, L and F. So it's hallmarked also. Brian's being nice to me today. I had to get mean with him yesterday. <laughs> uh, so here is this one. Isn't it pretty, all the intricate work? It's hallmarked LF. I honestly do not know what stone is. Sorry. Um, it kind of looks like amber, but I know it's not amber. It's got like wavy ribbon all around. The wavy ribbon look to it. Isn't that pretty? And I'll show you where it's uh, marked 925 and then it's hallmarked LF right underneath here it's on the in underneath part of right there uh you may not be able to see it but it's there i i think i'm gonna do um thank you i think i'm gonna do um a auction with this one does that sound good it's seven and three quarters um I wish I knew what that stone is. I I almost want to say it's smoky quartz, but it's not. I just don't know. And I didn't ask my dad. So, sorry. Um, boy, I sure don't know. Anyways, um, we'll do this in auction style. So, we'll start this one at... Uh, we'll start it... Oh, it's so pretty. Uh-oh. Okay, um, we'll start this one at 15. It's a nice size ring, too, by the way. Size seven and three quarters. And it's got like ribbon, ribboning on the sides. Isn't that pretty? It's kind of got an Art Nouveau look to it, really. <laughs> Manji's at 15, anyone for 16. 
you know what I mean, by Art Nouveau, kind of that style. Isn't that pretty? So the stone is clear. Um, it kind of looks like tiger's eye there, but it's not. 15, anyone for 16? I'm going to put it on. Seven and three quarters. It's all sterling. It is hallmarked and marked. So whomever the designer is, LF, I don't really know. 15 going once. Mm, 15 going twice. If anyone wants to jump in, feel free. Has cutouts too on the band with little balls. 15 going three times. Fair warning. And sold to Manji. Thank you, Manji. It is really pretty. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I know it is really pretty, huh? Thank you. Thanks, Manji. Eight, three, quarters, art, nouveau, ring, nine, two, five, and 15. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, this ring, um, you know, it's got a similar stone to it. I just don't know. And this one's also 925, but this one is marked, I think this one's marked Mexico. And let me double check with my magnifying glass. I think this is the one that was marked Mexico. It's very thick. It's etched along the edges and it's also oxidized. Has like, now this one actually looks like um, garnet though. I don't, I don't know about that one. It could have been garnet, but I don't think so. But this one looks more like, well, actually this one looks more purple. Hold on. More like amethyst, but it has, I'm not sure on this one either. This one could be Arissa Rhodolite uh, Garnet. But I think this one's from Mexico. I think it's Arissa Rhodolite Garnet, to be honest. I thought it was stamped Mexico. Okay. Maybe not. Mm, could have sworn. But it looks like it. It's a five and three, five and one quarters. I need to save up. <laughs> you need to have started saving. <laughs> um, okay, this one's five and one quarter. And it is, I think it's from Mexico. It is vintage. It's very thick silver. And I think that is Arissa Rhodolite in there, garnet, which is like a lighter garnet color. See how it almost looks like um, an amethyst color? Let me take my ring. You can see a little better. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Um, I'm going to start this one off at 18 if anyone's interested. 18. This one's a little older. And really thick and beautiful. Five and a quarter. Thank you. I'm afraid to push it down more though. Yeah, I don't want to push it down anymore. I think that's the limit for me right there. <laughs> it's 
So if anyone's interested, we'll start off at 18. And it's very thick. I'll show you. There's the 925 in there. See how thick it is? Really pretty. Okay, no one's interested, we'll move on. Okay. Oh, I need some more water. Alrighty. Um, There was, oh, where did that go? Okay, let's go back to some fashion jewelry real quick. Let me grab my bit, here it is. Okay. So, there, oh, you know what? I never got to do my giveaway, did I? Okay, well, let me do my giveaway. And okay, I'm gonna. Let's see, I saw gold set, 24 karat, and it's 27,000. I really want it, need to save up for that. <laughs> oh my, 27. Wow, that's pricey. Are you serious? Good Lord of mercy. That is crazy. <laughs> But you know what? Sometimes you have to treat yourself. And you know what, Manji? You have been a good wife and mother for many years. So actually, you really do deserve it. I'll give you that for sure. Yes, indeed. Okay. Um, do you guys want to see what I'm giving away? Or do you want it to be a surprise? Sometimes I like to show. Sometimes I don't. Oh, God, 27,000. No, 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 no. Where did it go? Oh, okay. Well, we're going to, let me do one more item and then we'll do that one. Oh, you want to see, huh? Oh, just kidding. Uh, okay. I can't find where I put it. Maybe it's, oh, maybe it's in this one. I've been trying to kind of cleaning. Oh, this is heavy. And... Here. Well, where in the world did I put it? Oh, wait a minute. I think I know where it's at. Ugh. Those are all stones. No wonder. Is it over here? No, that's not it. Shoot. Okay, it's in a box. Okay, hold on, guys. You know what? I'm gonna this is a good time. Now, this is gonna be a question you're gonna have to Google. And if you're really good, you will know it probably right off the bat. So I'm curious to see who's gonna know it off the bat. Um, I'm not gonna give you any clues yet. 
they're going to sell it by the time I have the money. <laughs> I don't know if I'd ever have the money. So, <laughs> um, uh, let me go use, I have to use the restroom too. I'm going to grab some more of my distilled water. Um, that helps settles my stomach too. Cause I've been having acid reflux again. So let me use the facilities, get some more regular distilled water and then um, I'll grab it because I it must be my other bin. I have all these plastic bins that I put everything in. And so give me two minutes, guys. Two minutes. Two minutes. Bathroom first. So. Okay, sorry guys. do. I don't know. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's still not the ones I was thinking of, but that's okay. I'll have to do that next time, I guess. You know, when you get something in your head and you want it to be that, well, and don't look at my ugly yoga pants. <laughs> They're really ugly. Oh, dear. And my glasses, because I had to look. All right. Um, what's the question? You shall have to wait, because i got to show you first. One second, please. Boy, I really wanted to find that one pair, and it's really driving me nuts. Oh, it's so irritating. Okay, well, 
and they're not in here either. So I think, I don't know. I don't know where they went. And it's really going to drive me crazy. Oh, it's so irritating to me. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just obsessing now over it because I really wanted those to be. Ooh, I want to show you guys that too. Ooh, and I want to show you those. Oh, I want to show you that. And, okay, we're just going to do these ones. Darn it. I, You know what? I'm going to give you guys a choice. Because that would be nice, I think. Okay, so this one you guys are going to have to work a little bit for it. Now, there's 12 of you in the chat room. Get your Google ready. Get your Google ready. Okay. Oh, let me show you. So these are the new ones and these are the last ones that I have. Okay. This is it. So these are the only ones that I have for my friend. I've already bought them from her. So they're the ceramic little owls that are new. The Mexican ceramic blue. They have on the front and the back little feathers. Okay, with the wood he, she, be down here. Or, oh, Sarah, get down. You're going to knock my camera over. These are abalone. Oh, wait, no, no, sorry. Yeah, abalone and um, uh, agate. And look how thick the abalone is. So you could wear them either way. And it's butterscotch agate. Isn't that pretty? So you could wear them that way. And you see more of the yellowy, butterscotchy color. So your choice. Okay. Whomever wins. Okay. I've already bought them for my friends. So they're a gift for me. Are you guys ready? Get your Google going. Okay, the question is. Who <laughs> was the main character in the original Nutty Professor? First person. First person. I want to know who has it. And they have to say the whole name. And if you know it, you're good. The person's real name, that is. Now, for me, this would be an easy question because I like older movies. Oh my gosh, hurry up, guys. No. Mary Lou, you got it. It's Jerry Lee Lewis. Mary Lou, I thought you were going to be typing it out as we I said it. <laughs> yes, so Jerry Lee Lewis, he did um, the original, the um, Nutty Professor with, um, oh, what's the other guy's name? Um, I like him a lot too. He was part of the Rat Pack. <laughs> hey, I I know that movie by heart too. <laughs> um, Jerry Lewis. Oh, who's Jerry Lee Lewis then? Oh, that's the singer, huh? Singer. Okay, sorry. So she had it right, anyways. Yes, Daisy. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Google. I only know the Eddie Murphy one. So this is an original. Um, gosh, what's the other guy's name? No, not Dean Martin. Yes, thank you. Martha, yep. Dean Martin, which I love Dean Martin, and I love Frank Sinatra too, but I love the whole Rat Pack. But Dean Martin is in it with uh, Jerry Lewis. And <laughs> it's such a funny, it's like a beatnik movie. Yeah, okay, 1963, wow. I don't know why I got that in my head. I think I have the virus and scientists 
in my mind right now. So I was thinking of it and that movie just popped in my head. So uh, Mary Lou, which earrings would you like? The little ceramic owls or the abalone and agate? So you can wear the abalone e either way. Oh, really? It was not even a glimmer in my parents' eyes. I think I'm buffering, huh? Okay, the abalone and agate. Nice choice. Okay. Thank you. Very nice. Um, let me put... Let me put it up here so I know, separate from everything else. And let me write that down. I do, if I don't write things down, I will forget. Okay. <clears throat> Mary Lou, uh, abalone, butterscotch, agate, gift, zero prize. Got it. Okay, thank you so much. That was fun, guys. You're too. <laughs> I was, yeah, my parents didn't get married until I think 1966. And then they had my sister in 1967. And then I was born in 1972. And then, uh, well, that's it, 1972. Oh, okay, great. Thank you, Mary Lou. I was just going to say, I need your info. <laughs> okay. So, I have more silver. Um, let me show you guys these little earrings, though. Oh, we'll come back to it. Yeah, we'll come back to these. Let me show you these first. <sighs> these are so pretty. I, um... But now let's see. You got married in 67. Okay, so close to my parents' uh, year. Um, and, okay, you were married then. Yeah, 53 years now. Oh, I know my, my parents would have been married um, 54. Yeah, 54 years. But my mom made it to almost 50. I think it was 49. Ugh. With my dad. Um, so I have showed these to you before, but I was incorrect. And these are actually Ruby Zosite. So, oh, by the way, congratulations on your win and on the 53 years. I mean, who, who, you know, nobody gets married for that long anymore. Everyone, it's like, you know, I feel like you have one problem and people get divorced nowadays. Lucky, come here. Sorry, you guys. Old dog. She has to go potty. Hold on. I don't want her to go inside here. Come on. Let's go outside. Let's go potty. Go potty, girl. Good girl. Um, <clears throat> and, I mean, I only made eight years. Well, that's eight years total. <laughs> it was only four years married. <laughs> but, um, oh, you were high school sweethearts. I think I remember you saying that. Yeah, <laughs> jinx. <laughs> Great minds do think alike. Um, so went together in high school. Oh, how nice. That's so nice to hear. Ah, I'd love to hear when people have been married for so long, you know. Um, my sister's been married for a while now. <laughs> uh, let's see how long. I think she's been married 10, 11, 12, I think 12 years now. Wow. That's a lot actually for her. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so these are um, Ruby Zosite. These are vintage earrings. Um, and they, like I said, I thought they were something else uh, initially, but they're Ruby Zosite. And um, they're not, they're taken from the same rock they have a different look to them because they just pulled, you know, Ruby Zosite is kind of like that. Um, but they are Ruby Zosite and they're both from the same rock. 
but aren't they pretty? They are sterling silver. They are vintage. Here's the back. The ear hook is also sterling. They are marked um, sterling. Oop, did I? Let me shine it up real quick. Okay. It's marked on the bottom. Um, if anyone's interested in these, I'm going, oh my, I don't think my dad realizes I'm still on. <laughs> Let me just answer real quick. Okay, guys, hold on. Hello. Hey, Dad, I'm still on. Can I call you when I'm done? I did initially, but then I got back on. Okie dokie. Okay, bye. I just don't want him to worry, you know. Okay, turn that off. Okay, um, oh, that's right, Becky, I forgot. It is, it is an everyday job. <laughs> I remember a lot of compromising. Come on, buddy, come on in. Ooh-wee, that's for sure. Okay. So these are ruby zoocyte. These are vintage. Um, ruby zoocyte is kind of a rare stone. Anyways, they're all silver. These are native made. Um, and let's start these off on um, in a auction style. If anyone's interested. <laughs> For sure, Mary. <laughs> um, let's start these off at 18. And these can be sold for a lot more. I just, you know, I've had them and I am ready. Look at the best. Look how thick the stones are. That's nice. We'll start them off at 18. Francis is in at 18. Anyone in for 19? Going, going once for 18. I just have a lot to show you guys, so that's why I'm like kind of moving things along. Uh, and you have to love that job. <laughs> that's hilarious. No, Ruby Zosite. Let me get closer. Sarah, get down. Ruby Zosite can be, uh, yeah, it can have the pink too, but this one is just a different version of it. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of like a darker, like maroon right in here. Can you see right here, darker maroon, those darker pieces? And if if I'm wrong, I will I'll definitely have my dad look at them to tell me, but I'm pretty sure. Anyone at 19? Oops, 19. I know it looks like this one's out of place, but it's just because it's a tight fit. It's there. And these are native made, so sometimes they make something a little imperfect, and you could see that right there. <clears throat> okay, going twice for 18 to Francis. Going three times to Francis. If anyone's interested, I know I think they're beautiful. Watch, I'll be wrong again. <laughs> I thought my dad was watching, actually. <laughs> um, he was earlier, I guess. 
Yeah, see, see, they're just a little imperfect. Uh, see that little ball on the side there also on the left one? Going three times. <laughs> Fair warning and sold to Francis. Moi, her. <laughs> to herself. Thank you, Francis. Um, I'll double check with my dad. I could be wrong again. Uh, Francis. Native. I'm just going to put Ruby Zosite for now, but um, silver earring. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Yes, congratulations and thank you. Let me put these over there. I don't want those to get. Okay. So I have these. Um, these are turquoise and amethyst, if anyone's interested. They are made by my friend, and they are the young Buddhas with the amethysts on top and bottom. Aren't they pretty? The lighting, it's like a really pretty darker turquoise color. I and You can't really see that with my lighting, but they are darker turquoise, not light turquoise, darker. These are going to be $8 if anyone's interested, and they are very thick turquoise. I know, huh? Can you imagine? I, I can't even whittle, let alone carve anything. I couldn't even carve some soap. Oh, thank you, Francis. Isn't that pretty? $8 and amethyst, turquoise, amethyst. You carve cake. Ooh, yummy. Look how thick. That's a great price for um, turquoise. <laughs> okay, so no, we'll pass on these. You know what I love? On cakes, oh, I love fondant. I don't know why. I don't like regular. I'd rather not have any frosting. I don't really like frosting, except whipped cream frosting. Frosting, But I do love, oh, I really love a fondant. I don't know why. I just find it so interesting tasting. It tastes kind of like a marshmallow. Marshmallow, however you say it. I think it's pronounced marshmallow. That's how it's spelt anyways. So good. I just love it. I want to try to make a cake. You can buy fondant. I just have never done it. Okay, I do have a white, natural white. Um, where's my chain? Natural white. Uh, da, 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 da. What's it called? White. How light? Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to find a chain. And gosh, where did I put the other chain? Okay, well, I'm just going to put it on the chain for now. Just so you guys can see. I do have another chain if you are interested in the chain. Or if you're not, that's okay too. Okay, I'll put it on this one. Um, but I'm just going to show it as the pendant because the pendant, <laughs> excuse me, is actually new. I don't really eat much, much cake either. <laughs> you know what? When, <laughs> when, um, there was a bit of a panic over here for groceries and I've thought the first thing I'm like, I, I need to have something sweet every now and then I need to have like chocolate chip cookies and I never make them, but all of a sudden I have in my head, I have to have them because I couldn't. And 
Um, <laughs> I bought flour and I had chocolate chips and I already had sugar and um, I bought some applesauce to place in place of eggs just in case I ran out of eggs. I bought butter. I never buy butter, maybe once a year for the holidays. But I all of a sudden was panicking. I'm like, I have to have chocolate chip cookies if I get a craving. Isn't that crazy how you're told you can't do something or have something, then you want it. Crazy, huh? Okay, so the pendant. I'm just selling the pendant alone. If you would like it with the chain, that's fine. Um, but it'll be more with the chain because the chain is sterling. But I'm just selling the white tape um, pendant alone. It's in stainless steel. And it's white howlite. It's a hexagon, six-sided. It's really pretty. It's brand new. Um, this is stainless steel, and so is the bale. So just the pendant alone is $10 if you are interested. Let me show it to you this way. Isn't that pretty? I like to tell people I wasn't always a pastor's wife. <laughs> a put it does look like a potion bottle. I don't think anyone believe if I was married to a pastor, they probably wouldn't believe me. So how light is naturally, oh, I got to plug this in, is naturally white. And so this is in its natural state, but it's been carved and polished. Um, let me plug this in. Uh-oh. There we go. So $10 just for the pendant. Isn't it pretty? And it is new. Okay, um, the next thing, um, where did the other earring go? I swear I keep getting things separated. Okay, well, it's here somewhere. Okay, well, we'll move on from that. Oh, sorry, Diane. Okay, so Diane, you want it. Uh, you just want the pendant, right? <laughs> yeah, I think you do. <laughs> Just depend it. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, now I do have a second one of those. Um, so if um, if anyone else is interested, please just let me know. So. I had two of these of the pendants and it's on a nice bale and they're stainless and it's a nice size. I mean, it's uh, over an inch, I guess, or about an inch. Let me put this in a baggie right here. Here we go. Here's the baggie. Thank you, Diane. Oh, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> there. So, natural white halite hex stainless steel pendant. Got it. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, thank you. Alrighty. Um, so this is a kind of a cool thing. I'll go into some vintage stuff here in a second. Um, maybe I should do that now.
Okay, so I have these 1928 earrings. Now you can resell these for a lot more on Etsy, Mercari, wherever, eBay, wherever. Um, and I know the, when I'm on my laptop, the lighting is a lot worse. <laughs> But they're pale pink. They're the porcelain earrings. They're the large ones. I would like to sell this as a set because it's a brooch also that has the enamel, black enamel, and then, wait, what's that right there? Oh, okay. Um, black enamel and then the porcelain rose. And then it has some little um, rhinestones. It would be nice to sell it as a set. They're in excellent condition. Um, I think I would like to sell these for 15 for the two. And you can make so much more on each one, to be honest. They are in excellent condition. It's like a stainless steel and gold with the rhinestones and then the earrings and you can look them up but I would like to do both of them because they'd match and I really don't want to separate them they're 1928 I know they look really washed out but it's really like a pale pink they're really pretty. Okay, we're going to pass on those. I don't want these to break. Okay. Okay, <laughs> um, then I have... I can't read this. I still can't read this. Boy, I cannot understand what that says. It says, I think, 1986, and it says copyright, and I just can't see what it's saying. Hobster. Hoster, I think it's Hoster Entertainment, or Foster, I can't read it, it's too, anyways, uh, I'll show it next time because I, I really can't read it at the night, it's a cute little enamel bunny pendant, and it's signed or hallmarked and it has um, the year. I just can't read it. It's, oh, isn't it so cute? Okay, sorry. Next thing, I love the earrings. Oh. Okay, how about this? Because you're making me split them up. If you like the earrings, Instead of doing seven fifty, because you're making me do this, Becky. <laughs> How about um, no? I'm just kidding. We'll do seven fifty for the earrings if you want them. Okay. The next, and you can just let me know. Um, the next thing is this very heavy hematite heart um oh my gosh i really love this i don't know why i love it so much but it's so beautiful it's very heavy it's very thick are you the bunny is cute huh <laughs> i know i i'll look at it tomorrow and see what it says. Um, okay, see how thick this hematite, 
just to give you an idea, look at my fingers. It's pretty thick. It's, I'll measure it here in a second. It's a hematite heart. Um, one and three, one and three quarters in length. And one and three quarters in diameter, too. Uh, Lydia, what did she say? I don't know. Uh, okay, Lydia said something, but I don't, it's been retracted. Okay. Um, okay, I don't see anything else. Okay, caught up on the text. So I'm going to sell this. It's one and three quarters across the thickest part and in length from the top part to the tip. Um, and oh, it's so pretty. It's just a big fat hematite hand carved heart. I'm going to sell this one for five if anyone's interested. These are, they're also called pocket stones where you can put them in your pocket and you feel it and it gives you the energy from the stone. Um, this certainly is really pretty. So $5 on this one. Oh, okay, Becky. I just see your message now. Yes, please. And sorry, I, oh, multitasking. Got it. Okay, we'll pass on this, but we should it. No, just kidding. It's really pretty and thick. All right, we'll pass on this. All right, so if Becky's going to take the earrings from 1928, um, sorry, is it too heavy to ship this? No, it's not heavy. It's, it's just... Um, I mean, I'll, like I said, this is with a size. It's not blue. It's a regular gray hematite. Where is it? So here's my... See, this is how big it is. This is an inch. Inch and three quarters. Um, it's probably... I don't know. It probably weighs like a few ounces. You're seeing the blue from my screen, I think. That's what it you guys are seeing. It's actually gray, but that's the lighting from my, my screen. That This is what it looks like. Here we go. Uh... So no, it's a uh, normal gray hematite. So I am going to ask Pat first if you want it. Um, Pat, do you want it? And then if anyone else after Pat, if she doesn't want it, it's $5. Um. Cute. Michelle, do you want it? Uh, no, Pat. Okay. Okay, I think I'm del I'm lagging. Okay, want. Okay, got it. Thank you, Pat. It's really pretty, actually. I think it's beautiful. It'd be pretty just to put on your, like, if you have like a tray with your keys and some rocks or shells, and then this, that would be pretty. Okay. Oh, <sighs> thank you. Heem a tight heart. Bye. Ooh. Okay. You guys are going to laugh because I can't find the other one. Oh, jeez. How in the world did I get...
get this separated? I have no clue. Well, I don't know where the other earring is, but I have two of them. Or, well, I have more than just two. Let's see. I need an earring card to show you guys. I'll put it on here. I made a mess on here when I got on my laptop. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So there's two of these, I promise. <laughs> I actually have another set, and then, but of course you get, you know, the two regular earrings. So these are potato pearls. They're in a dark gray, AB, like uh, with a little sheen on them. And then you have a venturine and a venturine. These are from my friend. Oh, really? I didn't know that. So these are the earrings, and so there are two pearls, potato pearls, and then a venturine. Aren't, isn't that pretty? A pretty combo. And for the two pearls, I don't know where the other one went. It's here on the table. Anyways, these are 10 if anyone's interested. For the pair of earrings <laughs> there are two <laughs> or a pair I should say and they're potato pearl and um, adventuring really nice color combo by the way actually I like how she put these together I don't know if you can see the pearl. Okay. There's those. Let me put them right here. And um, let's go back to this ring. I don't I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well on this camera. Okay. Oh my gosh. The other one's missing on here, too. You know what it is? These, um, the shepherd's hook come undone from the cards. I need to tape them on the back. When I send them, I do tape it on the back, and then I put it in the sleeve, um, one of these plastic sleeves. But <laughs> I know it's on this table. I just don't know where I put it. Anyways... I have to look at the price of these. Hi, Blandine. Blandine, I watched your video with your little chickies. I heard them. Before you even said it, I could hear the little chicks. And I thought, I bet she got those chicks. I can hear some little chicks going on. And I thought, you know what? With what's going on today in our world, it's good that you have some chickens going and you get eggs and possibly meat if you have to. <laughs> Poor little chickies. Did the uh, two of them survive that were sickly? I'm just curious. Okay, these are the Moonstone ones. Um, I, think, I think, Pat, you bought a pair. And um, Michelle, you bought a pair. They are hematite faceted. Oh, they didn't. Oh, darn it. Both of them didn't. Darn. I prayed for those little guys, but, you know, they were probably too far gone. Shoot. Ugh. Okay, there are two, I swear. I did. They just keep falling off this card. So they're moonstone, and then these are faceted um, hematite on the top and bottom. And I can't remember how much these are. Let me look because I have a set price on these because I get them from my friends. So hold on. They are, where is it? Okay, these ones are 15. 
Yes, these are the same ones that you got, Michelle. Except yours are wrapped. And the other one, I don't, the other one's on the table here somewhere. <laughs> but these are 15, and um, I have, or I can get three of them from her, if anyone's interested. But they are moonstone, and they are faceted hematite. They're really pretty. And they're 15, if anyone's interested in those. Okay, next thing. These silver earrings. You sent me a package? Let's see. Oh, I know. You know what? You know what they do, you guys? When they send chicks to people or the stores, they use the males a lot of time, the male chicks, as package peanuts, basically. Isn't that sad? Oh, I hate the industry, but it is what it is. It's so sad because the males are considered useless. So... Oh, is Brian here? I guess he must have texted me and I didn't see it. Oops. Let me see. Let me look here. Nope, I haven't gotten a text. Alrighty, these are um, sterling and what is it called? Not hematite, but uh, <laughs> what is that called, you guys? It looks like hematite. But it's like hematite chips. I don't remember. Let me put them on this card so you can see. But they are stamped. What are they called? You'll see in a second. I can't think of the name. I can't think of a lot of things lately. I think I'm just kind of stressed. What is this called? <laughs> what are those little chips called again? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. I can't think of the name. Okay, anyways, they're Sterling and whatever those chips are called that I can't remember. And they are hearts. They're all embossed. And, and Marcusite, thank you. Yes, thank you. My God, I can't remember. I just can't remember anything lately. Ah. Oh, you were very, 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 very close. One letter off. Pretty good. Aren't these pretty? They're, um, I'm just going to measure them. We'll do these auction if anyone's interested. In length, they are one and one eighth in length. And then the widest part of the heart is, I can't see. Almost three quarters of an inch. So yes, thank you, Marcusite and um, Sterling. They are marked. Isn't that pretty work? Um, <laughs> they're nice thickness, too. Uh, let's start these off at $12, if anyone's interested. And they are strilling with marcasite. <laughs> $12 to start. Okay, Manji's at 12. Sorry, you guys. I'm, like, moving them all over the place. Straighten it out. 
Manji's at 12. Anyone else for 13? Anyone for 13? <laughs> Let me show you the size like next to my head so you guys can kind of see. Get an idea. Because <clears throat> these are a nice size. Take the back off. Ooh, they have a nice um, long, um, what's it called, post too, by the way. I'll show you. Nice and long. Uh, let's see. How can I show you that? There we go. Very long. So, look at it. They're pretty. I know you can't see them sparkle because I'm not facing the... Um, I kind of can, the light, but they're really pretty. So these are 12 guys. They are marked on the back. On the heart here. Okay, anyone else going for, we're going to go once to Manji. Oh, I already said that, huh? Going twice to Manji. They are really pretty. Anyone who wanting to jump in? We're looking for 13. Looking for 13 or better. Okay, going three times to Manji. Okay, forewarning, guys. And wait for lag, lag time. Sold to Miss Manji. Thank you. Let's see, let me put these over here. Thank you, Manji. <clears throat> okay. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, let's see, Manji. Um, Twelve. Silver Marcusite Heart Dangle Earrings. Congratulations and thank you. Okay. I know they are, those were really pretty. I actually like those a lot. Okay, so um, this ring I'm going to show because I really like this ring. How many of you guys are in here? 15. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. All right, this is a size 8. Um, I believe this one's from Mexico. I can't tell. I don't remember if I could tell or not. Hmm. Well, it definitely says 925. And then something, I can't read it. What's next to it? Wow, I just can't make it out. I can't read it, but I don't... I don't know. I can't read it. <laughs> it's way too small. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this is the filigree work. I showed you guys this earlier, but I really I just love this ring. I'm going to show both of these rings again. Um, I had this starting at 20, and it's a chalcedony ring. <laughs> and can you guys see the filigree work do you see what I'm talking about that cutting of that silver beautiful and then the prongs are really nice on the stone I can't read the hallmark I'm sorry I just can't my eyes are too old 
Isn't that pretty? So we're starting on at 20 for this one, and it is a size 8. Look how pretty. That's just beautiful. And it is, I, this is, uh, you don't have to tell me this is Mexican silver. I can tell you that right now. It doesn't have to be marked. I can tell. That's their filigree work. So we're going to start at 20 if anyone's interested. My hands are so dry. Oh my gosh. And it's the same on both sides, which is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Thank you. I know, I love it. It has a native flair to it, and that's another thing how I know. But that filigree work is, that's Mexico <laughs> work. All right, if no one's interested, we will pass on that one. Okay. I think it's, where's my baggie? Okay, here we go. Oh, it's okay. You know, I kind of like it myself, but because I really love Mexican silver. That's sort of my thing. It's really kind of hard to sell Mexican silver for me because I love it. I, You know what it is? I admire and appreciate it so much. Okay, I'm going to show you guys this ring one more time. It's, um, it's not vintage. This is more on the... I would say on the verge of antique, and it's a cigar ring of a heart. Um, five and three quarters, I believe. No, five and one quarter. No, six and one quarter. I think I, got, I showed you guys this at the beginning. Uh, I shouldn't show it to you again. Anyways, well, I'm showing it now. Very thick silver. If anyone's interested, let me know. All right. Um, what shall, what shall I show you guys? Oh, yes. Let's do this. So this is an abalone, uh, hot pink abalone and chunks of abalone, all hot pink. It's a sand dollar. I believe the sand dollar is stainless steel. Yeah. And the chain is gold tone. This is really pretty. Has an extender. Oh, this is so pretty for summertime too. So all of the pink is abalone. Pink disc of abalone. And then the pendant is actually, oh, the, it's chalcedony. Chalcedony in the, uh, Mexican sterling silver ring. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? So it's all hot pink. Um, disc of abalone. Okay. And then the chunks of abalone. This is a this is brand new. And then this is a beautiful stainless steel gold um, sand dollar. So it's really nice. It's nicely done. And then we have like little um, glass beads here. So because it's abalone and glass and it is new, I'm going to ask $7. It does have an extender on it. Look how pretty. It does have an extender. So you can make it a lot longer, which I'm, I don't know. I kind of like it where it's at, but it has two two and a half inches, so you could really extend it. And isn't that pretty? Okay, very pretty. Okay, very that. Good night, everyone. Good night, Lydia. Thank you. I'll see you later, I'm sure, tomorrow. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jennifer. So pretty, huh? Yeah, I think that's really pretty, too. Thank you so much. Oh.
Okay. Jennifer. Thank you very much. It's so pretty. And I do love the hot pink. So abalone, hot pink. Sand color necklace. Thank you so much. Mm. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Is there different colors? Is there different colors of that? I thought it was blue. Um, oh, because it's dyed. Abalone. Um, they can dye any color, just like Mother of Pearl. Uh, Michelle, it's Chalcedony, but pronounced, yeah, Chalcedony, exactly. Very good. Thank you, Francis. Um, what did I miss? Had to switch devices. I just did like three giveaways, Becky. You missed all three. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you didn't. Uh, <laughs> was it blue? Was it blue? I saw a tan color. Are you talking about that necklace or are you talking about the ring? Okay. Okay, you're talking about the ring. Sorry. Chalcedony. Chalcedony comes in various colors. Lime green, orange, yellow, pink, cream, blue, purple. It comes in a variety of colors, um, Chalcedony. But that one was uh, orange. Sorry, I thought you were talking about that abalone necklace. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see here. So guys, everything will, I will invoice you guys tomorrow and everything will go out Monday. Um, sorry for any delay, like I waited an extra few days on some things because I wanted to fill up your packages for one, if you had flat rate. The other thing was, um, oh, I should have asked Gianna. Um, anyways. We, I had to like literally take a day and a half to myself to get supplies because here in California where I'm at, it, it was kind of a madhouse. And if I didn't get supplies, I wouldn't have gotten anything. So I had to take some time for myself and go to various stores to find just even toilet paper. I don't buy water because um, we, I have filtered water, so I didn't get water, but water was gone too. Cuff you showed earlier. Um, which cuff? Are you talking about this one? The watch? The tiger's eye? Are you talking about this one? Yes, it's a watch, and it's a Japanese movement, and this one's 40, Mary Lou. I think this is the one you're talking about. Okay, so it's a watch. It's brand new. It still has the plastic right here. The face is Mother Pearl. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're taking my beautiful watch. It is really gorgeous, so. Um, oh, it's so pretty, and it has Austrian crystals around the face of it. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. No, 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 no. It, you know, I started, I think I started it as an auction item, but I'm okay with just saying $40 if you want it. We're good. It's a, I don't remember how many carrots are in the tiger's eye, but, um, gosh, that could be, oh, it's hard to say because tiger's eye is so much more dense. I don't want to guess, but, oh, Maybe like 150 carats. Look how pretty that is. Almost like I said, looks like malachite. Really beautiful. All right, so it'll come on a pillow and in a box. It's brand new with instructions and everything. So thank you, Mary Lou. I'm going to put it right here. No, I'm going to put it over here so I don't mix it up with anything. Thank you. 
Okay, so that's um, Tiger's Eye Austrian Crystal Watch. Thank you so much. I'm excited, too. I want to see you. Well, I don't get to see you, but you could send me a picture of you wearing it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, perfect. I'm sure I'll get it. Yeah, I think I saw an email from you, so we're good. If I need any info, like your PayPal email or something, just let me know, or I'll let you know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's a Saturday, and I kind of wish I had some wine. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight because I had coffee so late. I guess everything's going to be rationed, you know, now they think about it. Alcohol, bread. I bought extra bread, by the way, and I froze it. <sighs> I've been, I, my, my freezer, my fridge, and my pantry have never been so full. Because I normally just buy as I need, and I have a little bit extra, but hey, you got to do what you got to do, and you guys need to get some groceries. Stock up because they are going to quarantine us. That's a fact for sure. Thank you. Okay. Um, if anyone else wants another watch, I have a really pretty one. Let me show you guys some new stuff. My dad's new stuff. <clears throat> Let's see here. these empty boxes here because I was trying to figure out how to ship all those little mason jars. We've been asked not to travel unless urgent or absolutely necessary. No leaving the country. Yeah. It was really good seeing Donatella's invo or, uh, invoice um, live with her cousin this morning. Okay. So here's a nice little same. So that watch was Japanese and it's called Strata. This is the same movement. It's Japanese. And for anyone who likes owls, this is another. Now, this one runs big. So I'm going to put it on. It's a stretchy, just so you guys can see. It runs a little bigger. Um, and this is where it fits on me. And it's owls. And it's an antiqued gold look. It's stainless. Oh, how pretty. I love Brighton watches. They're so pretty. So this is same movement, and it has, like, all these little stainless steel charms. These are branches and leaves, and this is, let me show you this way. Owls, branches, leaves, Austrian crystals. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, is she? Oh, wow. I'm surprised they're letting her come, huh? That's great. Yeah, it's better she's with you, I think, right now. That's a good idea. So this one's brand new also. Um, and it's got Austrian crystals in all the little eyes of the owls, just so cute. And on the, all the charms, they're all Austrian crystal. So this one doesn't have a huge stone, obviously, but, um, I'm gonna, if anyone's interested, we'll go 20 on this one. If anyone's interested, oh, it says something on here. I never noticed that. Wisdom. That's funny because they're owls. So, oh, that's probably my dad. Oh. Oh. Okay, I got to call my dad when I get off. So. Isn't that beautiful? 
20 if anyone's interested. Oh, is your mom a Canadian? Oh, that's why. She has to stay in room for 14 days. Oh, my gosh. Poor thing. Oh, she's going to go crazy. You mean, like, will she be downstairs in your um, um, studio apartment? At least that would be better than in a room. <laughs> like a little prisoner, huh? Okay, we're going to pass on this one. Yeah, this one's cute. This is actually, it's brand new, and I just tried it on. That's it. Okay, yeah. So she's going downstairs in the, that's good. Because it's a nice, from what it, you taught, how you described it, it sounded very nice. So it'll be like a little luxur luxury apartment. Night, night, night. I will. Thank you. Our, uh, Martha, thank you so much. I will talk to you later. Thanks for hanging in there. I know it's so late your time. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm trying to see. I know. So it's the same time for you. So it's like 3 in the morning after 3. Good night, Daisy. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> oh, this is my only one left. It is. Okay, so I guess this is my last one. I thought I had, oh, I sold it. That's what it was. Good night. Good night, Martha. The little troublemakers are right here and over there. <laughs> so, I do have this one. Oh, shoot. This is a double strand of very big um, rose quartz. And it does have an extender. Oh, it's so pretty. It's not chips. These are stones. And they're double knotted or knotted. I can't tell. No, they're double knotted. Good night. Love you all too. Or you too. Martha and Daisy. I know you can't tell the color, but it is a really pretty pink rose quartz. Um, it's a double strand. It does have an extender on the back. And it's, let me see if I can kind of get the color so you guys can see. It's a really pretty pink rose quartz. I know it looks white, but that's my lighting, unfortunately. Double strand, and it has an extender, and the carrots, I, ha I know the carrots, I just got to look on my spreadsheet. Oh, oh yeah, that is close, huh? <laughs> so let me grab my spreadsheet to tell you all what the carrots are. Oh, oh gosh, it's going to fall. I have made a really big mess here. Oh, dear. Okay. It is... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so if I didn't mention, it's Galilean 
rose quartz from Galilee, Galilea, and it is an 18 to 20 inch, so you can extend it to a 20 inch with the extender. And it's 345.50 carats. That's a lot. So very beautiful. And I wish you could see the pink. But this one's 20 if anyone's interested. It is a double strand. It's so pretty. Oh, you can kind of see the color back here. Hold on, let me pull it back. Now you can kind of see it better. The color anyway, let's see. But it's not uh, little chips, it's chunks. Really pretty, and I know it looks really pale, but that's because of the lighting. But it is a, uh, it's a light pink. They're from Galilee and uh, Galilea. And they're rose quartz. 18 to 20 inch, $20. Um, no, no rain here. No, it, it looks purplish. To me, in the in my where I'm looking, it looks white, but it's actually a really pretty pale pink. I don't know if you could see that. I know it's kind of hard. Let's see. No. Nope. It's a pale pink. And then there's some clear ones on there too. Oh, it's so hard to tell. During the day would be better, but yeah, these are rose quartz and it's 20. It's a double strand with the extender. And it's from Galilea, 345.50 carats. Very delicate, yeah. I've seen like how people drill the holes and they are easy to break because they are so delicate. So they did a good job on these. Because sometimes I notice some, sometimes when people drill them, they put them too close to the edge and they'll break off. And that's not good, but these are nicely done. Okay. So the next thing, <clears throat> so I told you the carrots on those. Thank you. Uh, it's really cold here now in Cali. It was hot. I know. I think when you came, Manji, it was like 80 in the 80s. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, you, that would a shock, huh? Okay. I'm going to show you guys this. I'll just show you guys a couple more things, and then I'll call it a night. So you, I'm not keeping you guys. So that goes there. Okay. And i got to call my dad, too. I hate to tear this because <laughs> my dad wraps it so nicely. And vellum paper. Yeah, it's it was raining here last night. Not heavy rain, but like you know, sprinkling raining. Um, and a little chilly this morning and t and tonight. Okay. These are lapis lazuli earrings and um, with simulated, oops, purple diamond in platinum over, ionized over brass. They're 7.01 carats and yeah. So Michelle, I know you got a pair of these, but these are big cabochons of lapis. They're little articulated cabochons. And the top part, the posts, are simulated diamonds. 
and they are set in um, platinum over brass, ionized, so it's it would never rub off. It's not like plated. It's um, heat treated. So this is in platinum over brass, and these are 15, and I think this is my last pair because I think I had three, but this is my last one, and I haven't showed them. But they're so pretty. Aren't they pretty? Nice cabochons. And it's, I'm too far away, but they're so pretty. And the carrots on these are where? Did, where is it? I forgot where I put it. Seven point, basically seven carrots. Seven point oh one carrots. I know they're so pretty. I love these. I love the back too. So when they dangle off of your earlobe, you can kind of see that the backing a little bit, which is so pretty. And they are 15. Can you hear Lucky? She's like <laughs> trying to get her... <laughs> She's so funny, the dog. Uh, lapis is expensive, yeah. Yeah, I know. Look at how thick the cabochon is, too. And they're on a post. So that is a good, good part. Yeah, thank you. It is. And the top part is um, simulated purple diamond. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, really pretty. Okay, those are 15. I only have the one pair left. And those are new. They come in a pretty box. Where'd the box go? Here we go. Tex, what are you doing, girl? Texie. Okay, thank you, Pat. All right, I'll just put them back in here. Thank you so much. Okay, let me write your name down. Let's put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Pat. Those are beautiful. Lapis. Purple. Simulated diamond earring. Thank you so much. That was my last pair, I think. Um, yeah, I think that was. Okay. Thank you. They were very, very nice. Ooh. Yeah, let me show you guys this. Okay. So this is abalone, hand-carved abalone. I forgot to have this, actually. <laughs> Um, where I wrote it down. Okay. This is a cameo Austrian crystal, um, with abalone. It's a 20 inch necklace in stainless steel. Where did my mannequin go? Oh, it's behind me, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let me put this away. One second. One second. I don't want this to get scratched or broken. Okay. Uh, my dad's a gemologist, and so he uh, bought majority of this, the new stuff. Um, gosh, 10, anywhere from 7 to 10 years ago. He was kind of hoarding it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he um, he has some stuff recently that he's pulled out that were a little bit newer. I think these were some of the newer pieces that um, he had gotten. Yeah, and um, my dad does make jewelry, but we need to get his equipment moved back here to California. But 
He likes to mainly make, well, now he, he likes Native American style, but he also made a very intricate ring for my mom. He made me a really pretty bracelet. He hand carved like the casting for it and um, really pretty. Yeah. Appraisals. Oh, does he do appraisals? Um, yeah, but, you know, if you want to actually... This is why appraisals are so expensive when you go to a jeweler because really the most authentic ones have to come from the GIA and you have to send it there and you have to pay a fee and then they send it back, you know, explaining what everything is and it's, it's quite the process, but that's what people don't understand. Like it's expensive to do that and you can only get an authentic appraisal from a, um, the GIA. And so my dad graduated from the GIA, but I think it has to actually go to the GIA. And I think that's located in San Diego, California. And I thought there was another location, but he, I mean, you know, he appraises things just like, you know, uh, he can't give you an authentic certificate like you get from, you know, uh, the GIA, but yeah. Um, that sounds familiar because I grew up in Roseville. What street is that on? I forgot. Aren't you from the area, Mary Lou? I forgot how you know the area because. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. So it's abalone and it's hand carved with the Austrian crystals. It, oop. <laughs> it's set in, uh-oh, I know, uh-oh, tangled it. Okay, I, it's set in stainless steel. The bale is filigree, um, where is it? 20 inch. Oh, you vacation there, okay. By the camp. Okay, so I grew up um, in Roseville, but I don't know what camp. What camp are you talking about? I don't know if you know what, what where it's near that Andres, but it sounds familiar. Oop! Look how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And here's the back. So you can see it's all stainless steel. Camp Far West by, oh, 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 okay, okay. Yes, yeah, so that's a little further down, 12 miles down, um, 80 east, going east on 80. Okay, yeah, 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 gotcha now. Okay, yeah. Or wait, it goes 80 and then you have to get off somewhere else. I forget. 65, I think? No. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. But yes, I know where that's at. Okay. Okay. Isn't this pretty? Oh, wow. I didn't know you did, Mary Lou. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. 65. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Okay. I knew where that's at. Yeah. Okay. Well, I grew up in Roseville. And... That vaguely sounds familiar, the Andre's jeweler. Um, okay. So how cool, what a, what a small world, huh? <laughs> so this one here is $15 if anyone's interested, but it's all of these Austrian crystals. Look how pretty the bale is. Let me get close. And beautiful abalone, hand carved. Can you guys see how she's holding up her hair or necklace? I can't see or tell which one it is, but she's maybe it's her pearl necklace. I think that's what it is. Austrian crystals. It's pretty big. You can see how look. You can see how thick that is. 
Oh, you do? Okay. All hand carve wax and design. Oh, wow. I didn't know he did um, hand or like uh, this, his own jewelry. I had no idea. Oh, they did, Becky? I didn't know that. Where? I wonder where in Roseville. Okay. Thank you, Manji. So pretty, huh? It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. And it comes in a pretty box, of course. Let's see, let me put it like this. So there we go. Okay, let's see. Thank you very much, Manji. We'll put that with your stuff right over here. Manji. Uh, let's see. Austrian crystal abalone cameo 20 inch stainless steel. Thank you so much. It looks like shadow and moonbeams. Oh, it does. I love abalone and uh, mother of pearl. Uh, gorgeous. Is he, does he still sell, um, Mary Lou? Let's see. I was a kid still, so I don't remember the area really well, but they had an, an engraving shop too. Oh, interesting. Now I'm really curious, Becky. You'll have to ask your parents. That's pretty cool. Okay. Thank you, Mandy. Um, let's see. I'm going to show a few more pieces and then I will let you guys go because I know it's late. Oh, ooh, I forgot I have this. This is pretty. <laughs> All right. Let me show you guys this one. Jones. Jones. Oops. I don't remember. An engraving shop. I bet it was close... I wonder if it was close to, um, what's it called, uh, Granite Bay, the engraving shop, or I wonder if it was close uh, or on Douglas, which is also on the way to Granite Bay. Oh, I don't want to tear this. Okay. Uh, no, he retired now and sails out of France on his own cruiser. Oh, my God. He must have made a killing then. <laughs> um, okay. This is Indian script stone and Brazilian citrine. Um, oh, what's, what's the metal? I can't remember. It is, it is, oh, where did I write it? Here we go. Um, Indian script, Brazilian citrine, 20 inch, okay, 20 inch. And it's platinum um, ionized over stick over brass and then the chain is stainless steel so it's heat treated it'll never come off it's not plated platinum over this the brass 20 inch magnetic clasp which i love i think i'm kind of freezing up a little bit huh um 20 inch and it's indian script isn't that pretty stone? And then each corner has a Brazilian citrine. And it has swags, uh, the style of Art Nouveau. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then there's a citrine on each corner. Brazilian citrine. So it's prong set. Isn't that pretty stone? And the bale is very nice too. It's etched. 
The back is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Um, this one is $20 if anyone's interested. And it's on a 20 inch stainless steel chain that's magnetic, which I like because I'm by myself. <laughs> and all you have to do is click. <laughs> and it's so beautiful. Indian script is a very, very pretty stone. Where am I? And then you get Brazilian citrine with it, which is really nice. And yeah, there we go. You can see it now. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty stone. This stone is actually expensive. Um, <clears throat> it's not widely known, but it is pricey. Oh, and it's marked on the back here, stainless steel, or platinum, sorry. So it's platinum ionized over brass. It is new, and it is $20. So you can see that with my lighting, you can kind of see the Brazilian citrines. And what did I say, $20, and it's a 20 inch, is it 20 inch? Yeah, 20 inch, and it's 8.75 carats. Really pretty, and it's new. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Where'd the lid go? Oh, this is pretty. Okay, so I only have one of the this necklace left, but um, and you don't have to take the necklace, but I'd like I like it together actually. <laughs> So this is a silver plated necklace, actually, uh, roll chain, and it's a uh, Uruguayan amethyst geode, which I've shown you guys before. I've sold a couple of these already. So this amethyst geode is uh, Uruguayan, and then it's set in sterling prong set. So that's the less silver. That's the host back here. Pretty bale. It's a filigree. So it's a very nice size geode. Patsy Crafty, that's who bought one. Yeah, Patsy got one. Um, this is a silver plated chain. If you would like the chain, you can have the chain and it has an extender. Um, the geode for 25. And if you just want the geode, I'm gonna do 20 on the geode. Cause it's in silver. Isn't that pretty? And with this, all you do is that. So you can see the size of my ring and the geode. It's pretty similar in size, uh, very thick. And then the actual prongs and setting is all sterling. So that's pretty, that's pretty amazing. That's the back, all silver, the bale, it's marked.
Isn't it pretty? Okay, moving on from there. This thank you. Okay, I'll show you guys one more thing and I'll let you go. Wait, what's this? Ooh. Okay, I'll show you guys. I, I was going to show you something different. <laughs> um, okay, let me look at my spreadsheet. So, this is a simulated multicolored diamond set in sterling silver. And then the chain is stainless steel. And it does have an extender on it. So, it's a simulated diamond set in sterling. It's a diamond bar, and it's set in sterling, and the chain is um, stainless steel. So isn't that pretty? Nice and clean looking, and it's a really pretty setting. Can you see that filigree on the setting, on the top and the bottom? I don't know if, ooh, I don't know if you can see. It's nicely made. Very substantial. So it's sterling. And then this is stainless. And these are simulated diamonds. And this one is 7.70 carats. It can go from 18 to 20 inch. And this one's $20. Oh, it's so pretty. It's very substantial. It's not like chintzy made or anything. You can see the silver pendant for all of them. Very nicely made. Little diamond bar. Simulated diamond. Here's the back. Hey, buddy, get out of there. No, no. My cat was trying to get in the box. Okay, and the chain is stainless. So it's not going to tarnish. Isn't that beautiful? Almost, oh my gosh, almost one. And I didn't get very good sleep last night. Or the night before, or the night before, or the night before. <laughs> so... I'll show the rest another time. Um, and, uh, but I, I probably should end it here because it is so late. Hi, Karamba. <laughs> it's late, huh? <laughs> I know, me too. So thank you everyone for hanging out with me and on a Saturday night. Um, and for purchasing your purchases and oh my gosh my hair is so static it's so weird today and for your purchases and i hope you'll love everything and um i know and i gotta call my dad who he's probably still up actually <laughs> i know he is he doesn't go to bed till like one so I need to call my, my dad. Um, anyways, I will see you guys soon. I need to do a video for my for this channel, but decor. And I need to do that. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, you guys stay healthy too. Thank you for reminding me. Um, get some rest. Stay out of the public, basically, <laughs> right now. Um, and I will see you all later. And uh, hopefully we can, I can get back on in a couple of days. Oh, sorry, you guys. 
I'm tired. <laughs> so I will thank you all. I will see you all later, maybe a couple, maybe three days. I'm trying to be more consistent. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Stay healthy. Get supplies. Thank you. God bless you all, too. And get you guys the supplies. Bye.